Hello there and welcome back to a very special video of course the last Tuesday of the month that's another rumors and releases and I'm so excited because there are some really really good sets that have been rumored and released in the last month so this is everything after December at least for the most part a few things might sneak through and though we are going over rumors which might not have been officially put out by Lego these are all official images from Amazon or the likes or somewhere that you can access quite easily. So we're not going to be going over any obscure leak that one person may have posted about a day ago. We will wait for official images here on this channel and there is a load of them. So let's waste no time and right before we get into this i do have a few ideas projects that aren't nearing their end so be sure to check them out i'll leave them all linked in the description i won't take up any time of this video and we'll get straight into the first image which you will have on screen here and that is the lego creator forest animals red fox now this is a three in one it's not just a red fox you can see right in the top left of the image the other two on the box i think it's an owl and a squirrel all of these look really cool and I was looking back through a few of the older creator models and the first builds were always decent enough to have sets. The second and third build were a bit questionable back in the day. If you go back about 10 years or more, the second and third build were really just something put together from the pieces of the first build and didn't always make sense. All these three could have been first builds back in the day. I like the fact that they've done the fox as the center one. It looks like it does use the most pieces and I assume there's no extra pieces left over for the owl and the squirrel. So if you don't like having a bunch of spare pieces, I guess the fox is the one you're going to build. But all three of these work. We've recently seen it with the giraffe set, which also comes with a gazelle and a lion as the second tertiary builds. And all of them look amazing. If you did have the money and were a big wildlife fanatic, you'd definitely be picking up three of these and building one of each. But I really do like it, especially with the Harry Potter Patronus, which is just above my finger here, next to the Disney Castle. I haven't yet made a review of that, but when I do, we will be building the second build, or more so, I'll probably let my fiancé build it, as that is her set. And taking a look at the two of them, because Lego have really brought their A game when it comes to these multi-build models, I guess. They do sort of slip up with one of the friend's poly bags. I have most of the poly bags still down there, as they are just too good to break down. One of the friend's poly bags doesn't have a second build, but again, you can just see the fox looks amazing. And if there are images of the owl and the squirrel, I will have put them up as I was speaking about them. It's probably one of the better sets that is coming out this year. Likewise, with all the creator sets, going into a shop, seeing that whole creator line. Next time I go in a shop, I'll take a picture for you. But it's really just a beautiful display, and I'm really liking the newer animal builds. Now, next up, we're straight into the Star Wars stuff. None of this leaving this till the end or saving the best till last. Honestly, I think this may be my favourite set of this year. Of course, the year is not over, so don't take that as my final answer. You'll still have to watch my video towards the end of the year, but... It's a cross between a playset and a diorama and honestly takes the best things from both. If you have seen my diorama custom, which is the only one out of camera here for the Dark Trooper attack. If not, I'll leave that linked in the description as well. But if you have, you'll know that it looks pretty similar to what Lego have just made here. It's a bigger version of that playset. It does come with a higher price tag. But look at the figures. Even if you push aside the exclusive figure we'll get to in a minute. We've got six minifigures, including Vader and two troopers, and Captain Antilles and two rebel troopers, or soldiers, or officers, or whatever they are. But one of the special things about this set is if we take a look at the second image, you can see that Antilles is being choked by Vader. They include a round, transparent, one by one brick, just so you can make him float above the rest, and honestly, you probably want to whack a plate or two under Vader's feet just to get him to the height of Vader. But this looks absolutely amazing. And then, of course, on top of the already amazing set, we have Fives, which is an exclusive to this set. Honestly, I can see people buying multiple just for the actual model, not the minifigures, which is very rare I say this with a Star Wars set. Not buying multiple to try and collect minifigures. Troopers, we've got loads of. Rebel Troopers, maybe not as much recently, but 
any longtime fan of LEGO will probably have a lot from the battle pack that was over a decade ago. But the actual playset, you can attach multiple of these, not only fill in the missing wall, but as you can see at the far right, there are some Technic holes on this playset. If you build them backwards, you can attach two together, have a very nice hallway, perhaps leave one end open. Four sets, you can then complete both sides of this hallway. Honestly, people are definitely going to be buying these bricks on an aftermarket like Bricklink and trying to complete the whole Tantiv hallway. But before we spend too long on this set, there is another Star Wars set that has come out, and that is this R2-D2, which we got an R2-D2 not too long ago. I believe this looks like a smaller model, and a smaller piece count does mean it will be much more available to people that can't afford as expensive sets. Of course, the last R2-D2 was celebrating 50 years of Lucasfilm, which come with that nice little plaque, which is quite a lot of money to buy on Bricklink now. But this one comes with a Darth Malak for 25 years of Lego Star Wars. And honestly, it's sort of an odd figure to fit into any of these sets. We don't have any Knights of the Old Republic sets, but Lego clearly wanted to release a Darth Malak to go with their old Darth Revan poly bag. And I guess R2 was the set to do it in. There's no real minifigures that fit in with this set beside the R2-D2 on the display plaque, which should be printed, unlike the T-Rex skull, which is just up there above my head, which does come with a stickered plaque. It is a shame every other LEGO set, to my knowledge, does come with a printed plaque. So it would have been nice for that. Maybe if we get another T-Rex skull or another skull part of the fossil collection, we'll get a printed plaque, but it would have been nice to have got one with that set but that being said the r2d2 looks amazing it's a smaller model and they might not have as many play features like there's no luke's lightsaber that seems to be included and really we won't know the extent of the play features until we get the back of the box which usually comes when lego upload it on their website all three of these images have been from amazon so far so you can check them out on your amazon stores but r2's got his arm got his little probe got his little lookout port which he uses on Dagobah and really whenever he can't see I guess they've included so much detail on this set I mean props to them R2 is complicated enough with the dome they have used the typical Lego ball you seem to find on all the helmets and I wonder if this R2D2 is going to scale up to the Lego Chewbacca because it looks to be about a third to half the height of Chewie and honestly, these two would be amazing next to each other. Now, an official reveal from LEGO themselves. They tweeted out these Duplo minifigures from Peppa Pig, which, while you might not be interested in the actual figures themselves, it does mean LEGO is still expanding into other themes. And if there's a theme you haven't seen in LEGO yet, as long as someone else doesn't own the license, you might see it sometime soon. But what might interest you is from Brick Clicker, these promotional images of a 40710 pirate splash battle, which seems to be a Legoland exclusive. So if you are heading to a Legoland, keep your eye out for it. I'm not sure if it will be a gift with purchase or just a set that you can buy exclusively at Legolands, but it looks really cool. A cool selection of printed tiles, hopefully, and a nice few minifigures, which I'm sure will have their exclusive parts. And speaking of exclusive parts, these minifigures are the new parts that have been added to the BAM selection, the builder minifigure selection in actual LEGO stores. We're yet to get as varied pieces online, which is a bit of a shame because it just makes them available to a much wider selection of people. But you can see the Lion Knight's outfit is still there. We've got a pirate torso and legs. The wings look really cool in the top left. We've got some sort of swimming costume. There's even a new beanie with hairpiece. And the boombox is quite a nice piece as well. A nice selection of pieces. And we also have the exclusive 1x2 Chinese New Year tile, which is some sort of pamphlet that comes with the family reunion and the Brickheads Mickey. So it's nice to be able to pick that up on the wall as it's one of the only exclusive pieces from the two sets. So if you are trying to build them for yourself without buying the set definitely be sure to head to your nearest lego store and pick it up in the builder minifigure and from fateful we do have a better look at the ninjago promo 40703 the micro ninjago city which obviously is based off this ninjago set and it does look amazing they've even got the boat on the bottom left and it does say the boat does not float 
because it uses one of these one by two round plates which does have two holes in and whilst it plugs the back the front one does still have a massive hole in so you will not be able to make it float but it does look really cool and if you perhaps parted out your ninjago city and didn't have the space for the massive model the small one is a nice model to remember it by if not it will be a promo given away with so much of ninjago Possibly alongside City and Friends, there tends to be a collection of LEGO's own themes you can spend on to unlock these promos, so it'll be interesting to see when that comes out, but that should be later this year. From Thomas Koenig 0246, we do have this image of the Harry Potter sorting hat, which does look really cool. It was a physical copy of the box released early that someone has seen and taken pictures of. Should be coming out around March 1st, though we have no official word from LEGO itself. And it does include 31 different sound combinations. It's the first time a sound brick has actually been used in an official LEGO set as of recent, at least the new updated ones, as we've only seen them in Duplo sets before. So it'll be Really interesting to get some better, clearer images of this and some more information around the set. But speaking of Harry Potter, we do have an official reveal of the minifigure inside the new dictionary. And that is a Segric Diggory minifigure, which does come with an awesome arm printing for his watch on his left arm. And overly doesn't look like a common Cedric Diggory as it's from the Goblet of Fire, I do believe. Again, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but it does look like a cool minifigure. And we also have a look at the Visual Dictionary cover, which I'm sure has probably been released for quite some time, as they tend to be released a bit before the minifigures. I think we have a Visual Dictionary for Star Wars, which is coming out in only two months' time, and we're still yet to see the minifigure. Now, going on to the official LEGO reveals, We'll start off with Stitch, who for a long time I've seen rumours of a buildable character and a brick head, and we weren't really sure what we were getting. Well, stay tuned to find out if we are actually getting a brick head, because here we have the buildable Stitch, which is £60. Again, I'll put all the other prices on screen for you now, and it does look really cool. It comes with a few accessories, the flower in the hair, the ice cream, and of course he's wearing the Hawaiian shirt, which I'm sure you could probably find the correct colours and brick out a regular stitch if you really wanted to. But it does look really cool and seems to be quite a sizeable model, as you can see, with the child playing with the set. And that is not all for Disney, because Disney have a bunch of sets that I think most of which are releasing in either February or March. We also have Isabella's Flower Pot, which not only comes with a character, but is more of the botanical collection and some of the recent friend sets that we've seen, especially with the flower poly bags, as I've mentioned. It does look much more like a botanical set than a play set, but it does open up to reveal this interior that I guess the minifigure can play around in. And likewise, we have another Disney set, that I think should have been more part of Dots and it's Mirabelle's photo frame and jewellery box. As it mentions, there's a jewellery box, there's a photo frame, there's nothing more really to say except for the capybara, which as far as I'm aware is the first time we're getting a capybara in Lego form and to get an actual mould for the capybara is amazing. I am a big fan of capybaras and might have to pick it up on Bricklink at a later date. Now, the next few sets I will not cover too long. I've already been talking for over 20 minutes, so hopefully I can cut a bit of that out and get this video a bit shorter so you don't have to sit through me rambling about the sets. But there will be a video on February 1st in only two days' time, which this year is going by a lot quicker than I'd like it to. But we are getting the Stitch Brick Heads. We have a Potted Groot, which looks really cool. Iron Spider-Man, all them prices are on the bottom of the screen and should be the same unless there's an anomaly with one of them. And then we also have a two-pack. We've already got Sonic, we've already got Tails. It'd be nice to see an Amy Brickhead, but instead, first we're getting Knuckles and Shadow. So perhaps Amy's to come down the line when they do Rouge and any of the other characters that we could be getting, we could even get a few different variants, such as the Golden Sonic. But... Lego Ideas recently announced, you might have seen it on my community feed, they gave out a spoiler to a set and pretty much the next day before most people could see the email, they officially revealed this red London telephone box. You can see on screen, it's quite a nice set. I mean, 
It's something that I can just go out, walk around, and as I live near London, chances are I'll probably bump into a few of these. It's not a set that really attracts my attention, but I guess if you don't live in London, and maybe you want to take a piece of London with you, this red telephone box is a great set. I think they also did a red London bus at some point in the past, so it'll go great with that one. I'm not quite sure how it'll scale. But the interior does have two different telephones that can be put up. I'll put up both the images side by side so you can compare the differences. One is much more of a modern payphone with a few posters and a map. And the other one is more of the old ring phone where you had to dial the numbers, like as in actually dial them round properly. A little advertising board in there, a phone book, I think. Overall, the street is quite a nice addition to just the plain telephone box. We get a lamppost, a few flowers, and of course, it's on Buildmore Road, which is a nice bit of the Lego imagination that they've added. But again, we'll talk more on that February 1st. We've also got the Kingfisher bird, which Again, Lego and their animals are amazing. This is for the Icons range. And similarly, we have another idea set, which is the Family Tree, which feels like it's been in the works forever. But I do quite like the way they have turned it into an official Lego set. So stay tuned for them coming out February the 1st. And don't forget to like this video if you did. Of course, I am so excited for the Star Wars sets, especially the Tentive Boarding playset diorama it's a bit of both and i can't wait to get my hands on it march the first so do be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my review i'm definitely going to make a mock out of it and i'll definitely be comparing it to the diorama i created for the dark trooper attack it says free videos you won't want to miss out on and if you are interested in what comes out february 1st do also subscribe and turn on notifications so you know exactly when that video is out on thursday it's going to be really exciting seeing all the sets coming this year and i can't wait to see what lego have in store for us in 2024 so like subscribe let me know what you think of these sets down in the comments and as always may the bricks be with you